Welcome back to Shooting Blanks Entertainment Presents, the commentator's podcast. I actually got that right for once. Woo. My name is Kramer. Then you fucked it up by talking afterwards. <laughs> My name is Tom, sometimes. sometimes. I'm Juan. I'm Issa. Special guest. Oh, special yes. guest Issa. Yeah. Ryan, Issa. a.k.a. Blake. A.k.a. Blazing Blake. Blazing Blake McKenzie. Yep. Is no longer with us for today. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Should we make a memorial? No, no. Go, go you, fund me. No Should we Kanye win? You know. We, okay. What? Kanye <laughs> started going funny. There will be no Sarah McLaughlin play today. <laughs> that was only for sad puppies. Just for sad puppies. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. Okay. I don't, know what the, I don't know the rest of that song. All I know is Heart of an no, Angel. No, that's it. That, you just begin to bawl. Yeah. Just go, go, <laughs> become into a fetal position. Crying. The rest is just crying. Yes. Yeah. That's all you need. You drown in tears. In your tears. <laughs> Today's episode is a Deadpool movie review, as well as a review of it. Has anybody seen any other movies? I haven't seen Deadpool. Oh. You I'm lie. just kidding. I'm spoilers. Just... <laughs> well, spoilers. We could do other movies that have come out recently. I know you've seen... Zoolander. Zoolander. Oh, yeah, I saw Zoolander. The second one. I haven't seen it. <laughs> Deuce. I thought I went to the movies. Oh, yeah, it was Sissy Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Deadpool twice. Nice. I wanted nice. to go see it twice. Nice. It was good. I, I liked a chance. it. Did anybody here not like Deadpool? I liked it. It was entertaining. Me too. Yeah, I liked it. I saw a couple of negative reviews, followed by a whole bunch of Reddit trolls swarming those people. <laughs> <laughs> no, my thing was Rotten Tomato score. It was, like, it, was, it, was, it was still pretty high. It was like, uh, last time I saw it was 84. And the last one I saw that was pretty high was a Martian. I was like, wow! It got like I think Martian was nineties. I remember. No, I don't. Yeah, remember. I didn't even see Martian. Martian was amazing. I heard it was pretty. Another good. movie where America has to save. Uh, yes, Matt Damon. Damon. Uh, <laughs> not Matt Damon. Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Oh, Matt Damon. Ben Affleck. So Matt. Ben Affleck. Like, you made me hate him. I hate. Him. I hated him in Interstellar. I also, him. such a which jerk. Which is, of course, means he played his character correctly because you're supposed to. Mm. But I hate him, and so I didn't watch The Martian because I was like, I hate you, Matt Damon. <laughs> which one? I never want to see you in space again. Which one was the one where he had to eat shit potatoes? Oh, the Martian. Okay. There was a Martian yeah, where he grew Martian. potatoes in his own shit? Yeah. I guess. I just guessed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he yeah, couldn't yeah, go, yeah. like... <laughs> he couldn't, like... He, he didn't he have fertilizer like, because of the dirt. Yeah. The like, land was shit because they're in a goddamn... There's shit everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't it grow was, it wasn't good <laughs> shit, though. It wasn't good shit. It was a bad shit. <laughs> what shit did he have? Like, what was he his eating own. to Enchiladas. create the shit? Oh, he had, like, rations. He had rations? Yeah, he had He was eating dirt. Just funneling it back. <laughs> He's eating the dirt and somehow it turns into nutritious shit. Yes. <laughs> Some dust of dust. Ashes, I, didn't ashes. I didn't think I'd ever say the phrase nutritious shit. <laughs> nah, I was going to say McDonald's. But nope, that's just shit. That's that just shit. Is. <laughs> no nutrition. But go on. Oh, man, I saw some cool theories about Deadpool 2 that we can talk about later. Go on. Or right now. Or we can, oh, yeah, okay. Go ahead. There's no structure here, Juan. <laughs> yes. You know this. Okay, since we're going on already spoilers just straight, one thing I saw that I thought was pretty cool, since I, at first I was like trying to think of like, oh, maybe there's some cool, other than Easter eggs, is there some cool like stuff going on? Couldn't think of any until I saw this one, and that is that Vanessa is Mistress Death in the movie. Anybody think? Yeah, no, sound interesting? No not, no, not yet? Okay. No. This is the one thing I saw was that I'd have to pull it up on my phone yeah, so to remember. But, like, one problem I had was she survived that fall at the end in that glass. Mm-hmm. I thought that was a little weird, yeah. especially since it was already stabbed, like, with a sword. That should have fucking killed it her. It should have killed her, right? Uh, the second was that he gets, when he proposed, they fall in love, and, like, that's very un, unlike his character in the comics. Yeah. He's not really like that at all. Mm. He does date her at some point, but it's brief. Really? And, yeah. And she's also a mutant named Copycat. She becomes a mercenary later, too. Mm. But since he's not really like that, the only person he ever actually loves and loves him back is Death in the comics. And she loves him, but he can't die. So they can never be like together. Uh. And then you have on the other end is like Thanos loves her, too, but she doesn't love Thanos. She loves Deadpool. So, the thing is that she she can turn into a woman, and they meet. They kind of fall in love. He proposes to her. All of a sudden, then like right then and there, you find out after like no symptoms, he has cancer everywhere. Which they're saying that maybe he's she's like I'm not waiting for you to die. I'm ready to take you like with me. 
So she gave him cancer. And then she gets pissed that he leaves. And when he comes back, it's cured, basically. He can never die now. So now it's th- when she first sees him, too, instead of being, like, happy, she's mad that he left. And then to explain also that she is death is that she didn't die when she fell off the helicarrier. So yeah. Vanessa might be death then. Mistress. Yeah, she could be death. Yeah. And I thought that was a really yeah. cool theory. That yeah. is a cool theory. Yeah, I, I do like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm sure there was some more to it, but I can't remember it. And I can't find the page. I do have a question in terms of Easter eggs. Mm-hmm. Because I thought it was very weird that they were at a... I thought it was like an aircraft carrier. But is it the helicarrier? Or a helicarrier? They're saying it's supposed to be like a helicarrier from S.H.I.E.L.D. Like a decommissioned yeah. one. Yeah. But they don't show it enough. And they don't say it. So it's just... And nothing like, shows that it's like, an, a, like you know, a helicarrier. It just looks like a ship at a it, shipyard. Yeah. yeah. But it looks like, like the it. top of it, it when it flips over. Yeah. It looks kind of like the tops of the helicarriers, mm. which is pretty cool. But at the time, I thought it was just a like one of those tanker, tanker ships. Yeah. yeah. Well, but they can't connect it to the Marvel universe because right now uh, it's Fox, and they're gonna connect it to the the fucking X Men universe. Yeah, they can't <laughs> connect it to Marvel. Which, the other Marvel. I love how they redid um, Colossus. Yes, Colossus was so much better, and like his accent because didn't he have a Russian accent in like the cartoons? Yeah, because he's yes. Russian. He's a yeah. Russian yeah. character. Whereas before, they, they had him as that... Uh, he, well, I guess he didn't talk in the other movies. I think he says probably like two words in the original X-Men movies. Yeah, but I didn't like the way they portrayed him in those. No. Like, the new Colossus is badass. I fucking love it. I like him, too. He's like that super goody, good yeah. good guy. You don't understand yeah. that, boy. That's to be like this. <laughs> when he throws up at the end, and he's just like... Oh, yes. oh. <laughs> and he gives this emotional speech. Did anyone else see that coming? Like, the shot to the head? Yeah. I was like, yeah, it's coming, yeah. but when yeah. is it coming? The, and then, the boom. shot to the head, but not the throw up. The throw up. <laughs> the got throw up, and he's just like, oh, it's like, what the fuck is wrong with you type thing? <laughs> they actually do that also in the, the Deadpool game. There's like a whole... Uh, speech thing where he's I think it's Cable that it is that's actually talking to him <laughs> where he's he's trying to tell him you need to do this and this and this and this and he's just waiting and he's like eh. oh, it's, it's, he's actually waiting to shoot himself because Cable's <laughs> like <laughs> giving him the speech and he's like uh, I don't want to be here anymore and he shoots himself to get himself out of the conversation nice <laughs> I that's something they do a lot in the comics is whenever somebody's talking to him and he can't take the conversation anymore he just shoots himself in the head <laughs> <laughs> speaking of the like the healing factor I thought it was going to be quicker, like, in the comics. Like, his arm took him, like, the whole day to grow back. I was waiting for, like, when he jumped into the trash can and when he got out, I was expecting his arm to be fine. Uh. And it was still, like, a nub. And I was like, aw. The little baby hand. <laughs> a little ba- <laughs> but, but then we got that baby hand joke, and I was like, okay. And when you see it, you're That's just like, oh, good. it's when so like creepy. Her, her yes. face. It's so good. So good. I bet it feels huge in this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I thought whenever he like got shot in the arm, like the very beginning, when mm-hmm. he holds up his arm, does it show it getting healed? Yeah, yeah, you can yeah. see the okay. hole slowly getting smaller. Yeah, that's did his I'm... suit come back and regenerate as well? No, no his that's suit what, just has what, the like, hole. I was just trying to make sure because like I dread. Yeah, no, because a few yeah. seconds later you can look and see his arm. You can yeah. see his skin, but there's a tear in the suit. That's what I had to make sure. Yeah, that's cool. So I remember the ass shot. Yeah, the ass. Shot. <laughs> I was like, and I was like, there's still a hole there inside another hole. Okay, okay. <laughs> and then hole I was squared. thinking. This labbit that I have up here, this Deadpool one, yeah. he has a bullet in his ass, too. <laughs> Does he really? <laughs> yeah. Nice. I was like, yes. <laughs> nice. Oh, you can't see. Let me turn his ass. Uh, is that a tape? Okay. <laughs> oh, it yeah, dead, yeah, it does. It says Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> right down the alley. He's does anybody else today. think that Ryan Reynolds <laughs> redeemed himself for Green Lantern? Yes. Has Definitely. anyone here seen Green Lantern? Yes. Yeah, yeah, of course. I haven't seen it. You have a toy. Really? I'm pretty sure you've seen it. <laughs> Why would you collect to, toys? I didn't make a toy from a movie fucking, you've never seen. I don't know if we talked about Especially the, the Ryan Reynolds one. Fucking it's Tom, so specific. I, the, I, the troll gift got me the fucking Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern. <laughs> Not just Green Lantern, it has Ryan Reynolds' face on it. It was, it's a bubble in <laughs> Ryan Reynolds' face. Shut up, I got you Deadpool. I love it, Tom. I love it. I did like the fact that he made fun of everything, his whole... What you call the the most sexiest man? The sexiest alive, man, yeah. The people, yeah. the whole like what's Green Lantern CGI. Ah. He says, "You think Ryan given. Reynolds got given. got this far in life on his good looks only? <laughs> on his acting? On his acting? Yeah. On his acting? Yeah. On his acting? <laughs> I want to be hot again." <laughs> I love when he's talking about his favorite action figure, and it's the Deadpool from the old X Men movie. Oh yeah, yeah. and he's, he's oh, yeah. talking about yeah, the was... record, but you see the old Deadpool toy. Yeah, yeah. don't sew uh, my mouth shut, please. Yeah, <laughs> give me an animated suit. <laughs> I thought he did, yeah, super awesome. 
I love the opening. Like, if we start from the beginning of the movie, the whole opening scene, like a 360 pan of the of highway every, scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With no real credits. Like, that was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the comic relief. And comic all relief. Like, yeah. Yeah. CGI character. Yes. Yes. An idiot director or something. <laughs> Overpaid. <laughs> Overpaid idiot. Over, yeah. yeah. Oh, but man. I like that he did start, this is a love movie. Yeah. yeah I get, it was an action movie. This is a love story. It was very much more like I guess a romance, romantic comedy. Well, it was, romantic I was expecting comedy. Valentine's Day. That's what it was for. Yeah, come on. I was expecting her to die, <laughs> to for Vanessa to die. Yeah. It, I feel like that would just kept it like going. Especially I, since the rumors with the cable being in the next, uh, the next movie, because mm-hmm. you know that's involving time travel and him having to disappear for a while. Yeah, but that lady, our mistress, death. Thing if would, she's death, then that's yeah, cool. That would yeah. totally make sense. She could like follow him through time. Mm-hmm. Or I wonder if they're gonna keep her just as like the mutant copycat and maybe she's they're gonna split up in the next movie i could see it being like a deadpool thing where it's not explained and all of a sudden they're split up and now that they're both mercenaries or if she becomes a mercenary they kind of keep getting back in touch with each other little by little but now they hate each other are they going with the time travel are they going to different universes multiverses kind of sort of or just timelines you know what i'm saying i don't know what they're gonna do with that yeah because cable is from the future yeah and yeah, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like if you can, you can easily pull off a whole different. Oh, this is a whole different universe. I can be whoever I want to be. Like, where Vanessa. That's true. Yeah, I could do that. Maybe they jump to the future and they're already split, and she has, she's a mercenary yeah. or something. My thing is how she does have powers. How would those occur other than being subjected to what he did? I think she's since she's a mutant, she already has them, but they don't say anything about exactly. it. So I don't know if they're yeah. gonna do that. See. Are they going to expand with some of the other mutants that they had, like, in the lab thing? Because they had the, um, I forget her name, the horns, like, the oh, yeah. spike sticking out of her back. Bob. I forgot her name, too. Was, Bob? It, Bob? was oh. it Bob? No, was... Bob the, the, the Hydra guy. agent. His friend Bob that he meets when he's fighting <laughs> everyone. Yeah. Oh, Bob? Yeah. Is that you? <laughs> yeah, he doesn't kill him. He, just he doesn't him kill him. Out. He just hits <laughs> him in the head. <laughs> was he the K or, was, or the C? <laughs> which oh, you know I what? I don't know which one he was. Oh, yeah, I was looking back at it real quick. like, which one is it? Yeah, I was like, which one is not bloody? <laughs> that was a good callback too and he was like I'll spell it out for you yeah. and then like the name spelled out I was like nah yeah, it's like damn it Deadpool I knew that was a joke somehow god damn it dude the forgetting of his guns each time like made me <laughs> laugh so much his little pea shooter yeah. the pea I love shit. how they went through the whole montage of get every single gun mm-hmm. even the one Blind Al has like taped to her and stuff and then they get there and Negasonic's like, where's your bag? And he's like, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> the accident, though. That was pretty funny. Oh, man. That was the <laughs> fucking the accident. Truck. Like, was it? Was, uh, I keep calling him Roosh, R- Ranoush. But what's his damn name? Uh, I can't remember I either. Know. Mr. Pool? <laughs> Mr. Pool? <laughs> Mr. Deadpool? Mr. Pool? Uh-uh. I can't believe he kidnapped his fucking... Was it his cousin? Yes, his, his cousin. His attractive cousin. His, uh, <laughs> you know what? I was hoping they would much show more him. attractive than me. It'll never work out. <laughs> I was hoping they'd show him and he wouldn't be like an attractive person. <laughs> I thought that was like, a good really twist. And <laughs> <laughs> nice Shyamalan. Because it's nice Shyamalan. <laughs> what the twist? Uh, <laughs> oh. He's just like screaming at the truck after yeah. the, the <laughs> car rams him in the back. <laughs> 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 it's like, you're doing great. You're, yeah. oh, you, what you did was terrible. Shoot him in the head. Kill him. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I did expect a little bit more action in the movie, because like the the way the love action was. Story. I, I get that. I get that. I, see, but like, <laughs> I thought the love story was also just like a funny fake fake out, but it really was mostly a love story. Yeah, I was expecting like the way they had the the highway scene. Mm-hmm. I was expecting like most of the movie to be like that, mm-hmm. like the extreme action flipping and all yeah. that shit, which we got most of it at the beginning. At the end, we got I want to say kind of a lighter dosage of it. Because yeah. it was – there was definitely less guns. Mm-hmm. But it was – I guess they also wanted to showcase more of Colossus and mm-hmm. Negasonic. Oh, okay. But it was I more – I kept thinking Jubilee, but wasn't – it was like a Sonic. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Jubilee, it's like Jubilee is sparklers. Yeah, so yellow is like <laughs> Besides the friendship. She's, she's going to be friendship. She's gonna be an apocalypse in the yeah. apocalypse yeah. movie. But <laughs> especially like – She was Asian. Cause, yeah, that made me laugh I liked it. it. Especially because <laughs> he was gathering all the guns, yes. which made me think of like uh, the ending for uh, Cowboy Bebop because he gets like the whole – the bags and uh, guns and shit mm. – and then the next, the whole episode from then on is him going through the building, shooting the shit out of stuff. Yeah. And I was expecting that with Deadpool. And then he goes, fuck. And I'm like, <laughs> God damn it. That could only work with him, though. Like, yeah. it's so good. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the, the, 
the action scene <clears throat> sequence guy because they remind me a lot of Matrix. Ironically, the choreographer. Yeah, the cho- choreographer. The whole like the the mm-hmm. the slow down three sixties. It was like yeah, this is too much like Matrix. I know it's like that was the you know what? I didn't look that up. That's, I, good that's what I wanted to make sure. It, it like, was, was it? very Matrixy. Yeah, like but then again, after the Matrix, everything was Matrixy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I was like, I don't know if it's like an homage, as in it's overkill to do it. You know, to that point, or was it actually hey, we're gonna take notes, we're gonna get that guy, and hey, let's do it. It could have been an homage. Was, who was it? The one, was an Asian guy. The one oh. thing I had a question about was because I know Deadpool's abilities are the recovery abilities, but is all of his like the the nerve kill, endings and okay. the 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 killing and the the shooting and the flips and the gymnastics is that all from his like special forces training? That's yeah. what I was, I was thinking yeah. the same thing. Like his uh, special forces, then everything's getting healed, so then you're being optimum. You're gonna be in optimum peak position. Yeah, you know, I mean physical condition. Okay, yeah, because you're like never that. tired. Because your muscles are never. Yeah, even That's though they recover true. slowly. Yeah, but, <laughs> so, so you you recover. never really get to the point where you're like. But he doesn't have like superhuman strength or anything. Yeah, no, he's like, just thrown around and beat the crap just like anyone else. He just gets up. Yeah, and if he wants to work mm-hmm. out now, he can just like work out continuously. But then again, oh, that then you bring up a good point with the whole. Okay, the whole point of working out is muscles tearing, and then they get bigger. And yeah, that's how you get stronger. Technically, he's stuck at where he's at because he like they tear the heel. Well, unless it would just be like accelerating. Well, but that, that's, the point. <laughs> like, that's the point of getting get super buff yeah. super quick, maybe. Yeah, well, that's what it, that's how it works because yeah. like as your muscles tear, they they, they, get, they heal back up, yeah. and in the the micro tears is when they heal back up that the muscle yeah. is more condensed and it's stronger. Yeah. So technically, for him, he's just working out, and instead of having to drink a protein shake, yeah. he still heals as he's going. Mm-hmm. So he can just technically mm-hmm. keep working I'm thinking, out. Well, the way I, I was just thinking about it, like he's plateaued, he's stuck there. He's ah. stuck at that level because he can never go higher or lower than that because he's constantly regenerating himself. That's what I thought. That's what always throws me off. Like, what was the, the I go back to, uh, what's his face? Uh, what, the Daredevil, the Ben Affleck one. Mm-hmm. His whole thing was, <laughs> was the bullseye and everything. Kind of like his, that was his power. Apparently, he has super accuracy. Yeah, that's but what the, You know, that's why I kept on thinking with, with Deadpool. It's like, oh, he only has healing, which yeah. is, he's there. He's stuck right there. Well, it's, may, maybe it's like power, but I don't, I think he'd, they wouldn't touch on it, but he could potentially get stronger oh, if he tried. And I don't think also, he tries or cares. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's well, true. there's that, or if he were to train, he could continuously train where, like, most of us would get tired. He wouldn't get tired. Yeah. Does get Deadpool get tired? No. no I don't I think, think so. He didn't he have, like, didn't he fuck all year? Oh, no, that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, 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 because the whole montage that, that of just whole, fucking that whole, kids. <laughs> that was pre cancer. That was pre cancer. I was like, oh, never mind then. That, that might have given him cancer. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was a good montage, though. Yeah. A fucking montage. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. That was the one part where, like... Maybe that's where he got the cancer, because he got it. From the uh, Women's Day? <laughs> <laughs> the get Michael Douglas up. style? There you go. <laughs> what? <laughs> Michael, Eating all what? that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. That's, That's what Michael Douglas said, yes, Kramer. When he got all that. They said, how did you get throat cancer? He said, from eating that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. No, I was saying the other one. I was saying they take it up the ass. That's what he got. <laughs> oh, yeah. First superhero ever being pegged. <laughs> yeah. It happened. <laughs> God damn it. That's true. It did happen. Uh-oh. Well, so this is going to go with this. There was the, uh, the list <laughs> the of alternate Deadpool characters. Although I don't know if any of them were real. What? There was a Tyrannosaurus Deadpool. Okay. Whereas because he heals, he survived the, the meteor. Uh, uh, <laughs> makes, yes. Makes, makes perfect sense. Makes perfect when sense. When I looked at it, I was like, what the fuck is it? But then they explained it. I was like, eh, yeah. Yeah. yeah it makes it comic book pig. sense. There was a uh, like Deadpool. Spider Pig. I was like, why is there Spider Pig? <laughs> spider Ham. Spider Ham. Oh. Thank His you. name is Peter Porker. <laughs> I do remember that. There's a Deadpool dog, a kid Deadpool, and like halfway. Th- can he see the movie? Kid Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> he can, the he, movie? can he watch his own movie now? Oh man, he needs to have an adult. I won't let him in. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was like a really fake list, but as I was reading it, I was like, I don't care if this is fake. I want to watch all of these. <laughs> no, I just mash it. It's one one movie. Mm-hmm. I would watch Dinosaur Deadpool though. Really? Jurassic Park mixed with Deadpool. And land before time, but he can't talk. Oh, okay. Land before time, they can talk. Oh yeah, they yeah. I'd watch it. I'd watch it. <laughs> It'd probably be shit, but I'd watch it. 
I heard a lot of complaints about Deadpool from not from a lot of people, but the people who didn't like it were very vocal about why they didn't like it. Mm-hmm. That's because those are the people that are very vocal about hating everything. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. the cry bullies. And the cry, the cry bullies. Their explanations, like when I read it, I was like, "Why would you go see Deadpool? This is, it was advertised as this." Yeah, like one was them complaining, like he's just a man boy going around killing things. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's why we went to go that's, see it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that, you just defined. <laughs> yeah. I think that was like the biggest complaint. They were like, there was too much cursing. There was too much this. I'm like, yeah, that what? was Deadpool. That's why we went to go watch it. Those are the people that got but fooled thinking it was going to be a romantic comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. They were just like, I'm going to see a nice movie with Ryan Reynolds. Too bad Sandra Bullock's not in this that's one. That's what I'm going to say. That's exactly what I'm going to say. They saw it and they're like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. <laughs> Is Ryan Reynolds from Canada? He's Canadian. Yeah, he's Canadian. Is Can Ryan Reynolds Canada? now go yeah. back to romantic comedies? Go what? Huh, like, is no, he ever going to get can. hired for a romantic comedy again? No, he's okay. Ryan Reynolds? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He can do whatever he wants. <laughs> I'll, like, I'll watch it. Was... I will, too. But I'm just saying, is anybody, <laughs> any director going to be like, you know what? After Deadpool, I want Ryan Maybe Reynolds. Maybe they're going to put him in more action movies. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe he'll be the, the next Bruce Willis. Uh, I never I understood why he the was it in more. Yes, yes, that would be yes. awesome. Because Ryan Reynolds and The Rock. <laughs> yes, that would be a great pairing. It'd be like yeah. the Ryan Reynolds and I know Ryan Reynolds, the Rock and Kevin Hart movie that's going to come out. I, probably I, I better. I can't wait to see that. Actually, I haven't really seen the trailers see for. Is there any trailers yet? No, there's. Is there? Yes, there is. There is that one trailer. What's it called? Okay. CIA. Oh, that sounds but good already. How, like how's that. he going to explain it to Ice Cube that he got a promotion? <laughs> <laughs> That's my thing. It's like, he, di- he divorced <laughs> the, the Ice Cube's sister. The second movie? <laughs> they just played so the you, second one. So how are you going to be CIA and do Ride Along 3 now? I'm just saying. <laughs> Undercover. There you go, maybe. He's, He's been CIA three, the whole yeah. time. <laughs> yes. <Got> yeah. <laughs> and then The Rock's in Ride Along 3. Yes. yes. <laughs> As his partner. <laughs> All, and he mixes in with like, Fast and Furious. Just, he's in there. I like it. I and am the cavalry. For, <laughs> for some reason, Axel Foley just comes out of nowhere and makes a cameo. Oh, my God. Axel no, Foley. and w- with his friend Serge. Serge. <laughs> oh, Axwell. Why uh, hasn't Ryan Reynolds been in more action movies? Because he's always been funny. He's a funny but he's, guy. But he's always been buff as shit. Like, in, even in, like, the movie uh, Waiting, where yes. they show him, like, like well, yeah, he's yeah. putting on his clothes, mm-hmm. and he's just trying to make it awkward for the guy, he's ripped as fuck. That's and I looked at it, and I was like, what the hell? <laughs> And like, I was, did he get a Ryan Reynolds bone or something, or what happened? Huh? I think he did. Did you not? <laughs> uh, you could wash your laundry on those abs. <laughs> Who I have a washing machine. <laughs> Why? <Yes. laughs> like, like, I gotta go find him. I get the soaps. Like, stay I have to there. tie him down. <laughs> There's more work involved. I don't think you'd have to tie him down. He'd probably just like lean back like this. Like did. Well, didn't Family Guy did that? Like when they made him gay and everything? Like he was after Peter. Ryan what? Reynolds. Ryan? No, you're thinking Luke Perry? No, no, it was Ryan Reynolds. Reynolds? Ryan Reynolds. Like, he uh, was, he was it Ryan Reynolds? Hit. Yeah, it was Ryan Reynolds. I didn't see that one. Yeah. Damn. Oh, Luke Perry was the opposite. Like, when like Peter Luke, was trying, trying to get, to get Luke Perry oh, gay. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but Luke Ryan Perry was gay at the end. Ryan that up. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> you just I'm, confused I'm him. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> but I would have expected him to be in more action movies, which I think is what they tried to do with Green Lantern. Yeah, and maybe after that they're like, no, fuck, no, no, no. Yeah, that's that probably Fox. what killed his action He's career. Fox. <laughs> Did that? But that's not how it worked with Ben Affleck, right? No, that totally worked with Ben Affleck. Whenever he was announced as Batman, people were pissed. Yeah, they that's were. true. They were like, fuck Daredevil. I was. I remember no, being mad at the same. The time. only <laughs> reason why I kind of redeemed him for Batman, other than uh, fuck Josh. But anyways, but mainly for <laughs> Josh has a <laughs> my brother Josh. He has a huge boner for anything Ben Affleck. On top as of he it being Ben Affleck's amazing. Well, the main <laughs> thing the is ball and Phantoms, yo. <laughs> what? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, yeah, I just lost my thought. But anyway, fuck you, Kramer. I was gonna say it. Oh. You said it last podcast. Oh, it was no, my. You said it last. You podcast. said it last podcast. Oh, what did I? Yes. Go on. I completely lost my thought. But it was a Ryan boner. Ryan, ben, was Affleck. Boner, ben Affleck. That he Josh. Michigan. Michigan. Nah. Affleck. Andy's. Nah. I'll come back to me. The cow. <laughs> the cow. So I completely lost that thought. Oh well. That Damn, we're really no, ready anyway, to go yeah, that, that totally ruined Ben Affleck too. Whenever Daredevil. He wasn't wow. in a lot of action movies either, was he? He he was, but he made his own. I think yeah, he started yeah, directing. Cool. He was no, like, nobody's hiring me for this he anymore. He had to make Fuck the fucking it. town where everybody <laughs> ties <laughs> their yeah. accent. Hey, that was a good movie. Town, that was a good movie. Town, Fargo. He had to redeem was himself. Was Far- Didn't he do Argo. Fargo? Argo. 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 He yeah. did amazing. Dog. That's what I was going with. That. Like, was it um, Kevin Smith? He's good friends with Kevin Smith, and Kevin yeah. Smith is a huge yeah. Batman mm-hmm. thing. Well, I always remember Dogma and all those movies, those, girl, those Kevin Smith yeah. movies. I always remember Ben Affleck in them. I was like, okay. 
If he can be Batman, okay, he better be talking to fucking Kevin Smith and just get your shit straight. But we'll see. But then yeah. again, on that note, that's what Ryan Reynolds did. He made Deadpool. Mm-hmm. That is true. He did co-write so it. So he redeemed himself in action oh. movies after his action flop. Did and he, he co-write or he co-produced? wanted that for like ten he years too. Co-produced. I think he he, had he wanted produced. Deadpool for like ten years. Yeah. Like he's been trying. Yeah, like when he first did the um the uh X Men the X Men one. Yeah. I think afterwards is oh. when he started working with people to make that scene. Yeah. Well, I, what I read recently too is that they kind of like blackmailed him into that Deadpool yeah. when they're like, "You're going to be Deadpool," and he was like, "Awesome," and they're like, "Well, we're going to do this with him, and he's going to have claws," and he was like. I don't think I want to do that. And they're like, fine, we'll just get someone else. And he's like, oh, okay, I, I guess I'll do it then. But he did, he did, hit, he did touch base. I was like, who's, uh, how did I had, how to get my own movie? It rhymes with Wolverine, how to touch his balls. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a shot and pat down on that. <laughs> <laughs> when he took off his mask at the end and he's got the Hugh Jackman, the Hugh Jackman face <laughs> yeah, stapled to yeah, him. Yeah. Oh, man, that was stapled. so good. Stapled. stapled. Like, yeah, just, just pull that out. <laughs> that was so good. Uh, <laughs> I like how Hugh the, Jackman uh, got huge. But anyways, go on. Oh yeah. I like how like <laughs> he, they had to do the thing where um he leaked a lot of stuff just to get the movie started because I think they did the test footage with him and mm-hmm. he had like a copy of it and he was like I think the studio was still discussing how they were going to do it but he knew if it, people saw it they would support it so he just like put it in the internet just slow it's yeah shit. <laughs> like how that first iPhone got accidentally leaked into some random bar it's like well, we want this now. <laughs> Kind of like one of those. It went, yeah. it went like that. I remember having that also, like the leaked footage. And people yeah. saw it and they went crazy. It was good. It was great. <laughs> I'm glad that they recreated it. Yeah. I think the only thing that, I, like what you were saying earlier that I've heard is that, yes, there wasn't enough action as people expected. The two major scenes in the trailer <sighs> were like, that was it. Well, Other it was... than the like random little fighting in between. Yeah. But it didn't bother me at no, all. No, it didn't disappoint me. I thought they did it fine, especially like the different way of telling the story. Where, like, they stayed on the freeway scene for a long time, yeah. but they yeah. cut in and out of it, which worked, like, super good. That way, it wasn't just all the action all out at once. They could yeah, and then it would have slowed could. down. No. Every time you went back to it, there was a little bit of action, and then story, and then action, story. Yeah, yeah. But still one scene. <laughs> like, when he's talking to Colossus, and he's, like, still throwing stuff at Ajax, like, yeah. in the corner. Throwing the, what did he throw at him? Like, a door or something? Man, uh, hubcap. Yeah, something. The hubcap. Yeah, the hubcap. I don't know why I thought Captain America shielded my memory, and I was like, "That's not right." <laughs> I knew it was like circular. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, I didn't do it on purpose. Like, no, Captain it wasn't America. something that was like going to cause a lot of damage. It was just yeah. He was just fucking yeah, with him. him. <laughs> that was that's why it was so awesome. I love that fourth wall break that they had right there, where he's explaining the storyline. He's like, "Who are you talking to?" Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> who are you talking to? <laughs> or he tries to beat up Colossus, and he keeps breaking his arms. <laughs> he breaks his wrist, and he breaks his other wrist, uh-huh. and his leg. <laughs> Very like Monty, P- Monty Python. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could still fight. <laughs> I think the comedy was my favorite part yeah. of that movie. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The that comedy was, was your favorite part. That's the, whole, yeah, the like the whole thing was comedy. <laughs> yes. I like that. Uh, all the stories that I heard about Ryan Reynolds when they were shooting it made him sound like the character Deadpool. Like whenever they mm-hmm. were talking about, they're like, uh, he said, oh, "What was it? Like somebody leaked this footage." I'm seventy percent sure it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever yeah. the uh, one of the outfits came yeah. up missing, and he's like, "I didn't steal it." And then he like a picture of him wearing it the next day. <laughs> I read that yeah, he just walked off with it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that then, sounds like something Deadpool would do. He, yeah, somebody posted that supposedly like, oh, they asked, ben they asked like, if yeah. he was gonna take the suit. I was like, fuck that, I got the money for it. I, was like, I just stole it. Yeah, Deadpool, like, <laughs> yeah. Right, right, right. 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 said when they cut, he was like, I'm leaving, and he left like in the suit. And their wardrobe was like, don't you want to take that off? And he's like, nope, <laughs> flicked him off and walked away. <laughs> Do you think that was him doing like the method actor thing where he's like, I'm gonna get into character and just be a complete asshole to everybody? (laughs) Ledger. Oh, God, no. (laughs) We still need him. He gets so into the method thing, he's like, I can't die. Yeah. (laughs) I can't die. That was Lola. I'll just heal from this. Somebody's talking to him. He doesn't want to listen to him. He shoots himself in the face. (laughs) I'm out of this conversation. <laughs> I like the secret ending. <laughs> the not secret ending, the after credits, the Ferris Bueller thing. Yes. Uh, that was the whole okay. That was done great. That did look very familiar. I was wondering, I was like, oh Hallway, this looks familiar. Like, this is not at the moment. I did yeah. it. But yeah. now it's like Ferris Bueller. Ah. Yeah. I He's suspected like, him more said, shampoo. He says even the same ah, thing. Yeah. He says the same thing. He's like, yeah. what are you doing here? Go home. Was it the same rope? I think I that's think the whole so. thing. 
like even the, the back the wallpaper was yeah. the same I thought the wallpaper that's what i was saying was like that room and that whole hallway looked familiar for yeah like, i just couldn't before they even it. like he pops his head out yeah i thought the wallpaper was different I probably mm-hmm. oh, it's I 1980s and like, 2000s. That's 30 years different. <laughs> You're not gonna get the exact same thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> details, details. They're like at Lowe's. They're like, why can't we find the right one? I hate Lowe's. And on <laughs> that, I want to see Kira Knightley as Cable. <laughs> what? I don't oh, know. Good. This is like say offering who might be court, Cable. Yes. Cable's like angry. And I want to see it. <laughs> he suggested her. Kira I want it. Oh, I'm thinking Natalie Portman. Because he I'll says, who, who he says, he names like two people you can get, right? Because of Star Wars. Yeah. Yes. And then he's like, Kira right. Knightley, she's good. <laughs> Make it happen, Hollywood. <laughs> who would you have as Cable? <laughs> that dude from Avatar. Dude from Avatar? Uh, the bad guy. Uh, With his, he's got the same face him. and like the haircut. Did he have like that little buzz? I thought he had like a buzz. He's, or he, he had a flat. He's kind of got like a flat top the Gaia. thing. <laughs> There's there was a wrestler I don't remember who like his name Kevin Nash yes Kevin yeah, Nash he looks like him oh, he does Kevin look Nash. a lot like him I haven't seen him recently who's the guy who played uh, was a Hellboy yeah from uh, Sons of Anarchy yeah that's the guy I was thinking yeah he eh, eh, no the guy from well, you Hellboy need somebody older though no, but that's he, he has the he has the hair. He has, he has the hair, I guess. How swole do you want Cable to be? That's a. I he guess needs, that's to, a he needs to be pretty. That's big. what I'm saying. Yeah. He's like, was it? Mm-hmm. Well, but all comic book characters are really swole, but you never really get actors who like Superman. Yeah. Superman, like in like all the old, he always go like this. You can see like the fucking abs on the yeah. side of the abs. Yeah, those are those riblets. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> riblets. <laughs> but they're, oh, oh, it sounds so oh, gross. gross. <laughs> <laughs> no, that sounds dude. like something you order at a barbecue. The riblets. No. <laughs> but like you never get somebody as buff as the actual Superman playing Superman, or like uh, which is part of why I do like Ben Affleck being Batman because he's he, he buff as shit. shit. Yeah, he looks pretty awesome. I was yeah. watching it and like as as a kind of a gym rat, I'm like, yes, <laughs> gains, <laughs> gains. <laughs> what is he? <laughs> like I, I, that part always kind of pissed me off whenever I saw like superheroes and they would get like an actor yeah. because like from 300 they all did like the workout, they all got yeah. like the abs. And, like, you know, none of them look like that out of the movie, but they worked up to it. But you don't really get that a lot in superhero movies these days. They just kind of, like, or they, they did that, um, the last Superman before this one, where they had... Man of uh, Steel? Huh? Man, Man of Steel? The one where he gets shot in the eye? Oh, the Brendan yeah. Routh one? Yes. Mm-hmm. Where, uh, you could tell the suit was muscles under the suit. Oh, that's a right Well, he wasn't yeah. trying to be super buff, because he was that... That Superman is supposed to continue from the Christopher Reeves one. Mm-hmm. And Christopher uh, Reeve wasn't buff. I'm, I'm still cracking up that they threw a big stink about that he was gay in real life. Christopher Reeve? No, 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 no. Brandon Superman, Ralph? an actor playing Superman. Is Superman not? Brandon that's Ralph? What, uh, I think so. Or who was gay? <laughs> that's, that's what I was saying. Is like, it? Somebody threw I thought that was just Zack and Mary. No. <laughs> no, no. Was it the Man of Steel? No, not Man of Steel. No, not, not that guy. Um, the one that he gets shot in the eye. That's that Brandon Ralph. Ralph. That is Brandon Ralph. Then. Ah, okay. I didn't but, know that. But they said they, they threw a big stink about it because he was gay. So I was like, exactly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Fuck Superman's exactly. gay. I'm pretty sure Superman's gay. Nah. He never. And the wants only to... reason he gets with Lois to have the kid, he's like, humans are straight, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know what I am. I'm an, I'm an alien. <laughs> no, somebody came up with a good theory. He's like, that's not, that's not a penis. Like, a yeah, does he? Yeah, yeah. Like a claw. Like because he's an alien, does he have something different under yeah. there? Or if he has like the stingray thing, where it's like multiple ones. He, go, oh. he has a. First of all, I didn't know stingrays had multiple ones. So. Yeah, they have two penises. Ah. I know that. Well, I always thought the corkscrew was a And cheetahs one. have spiky penises. Who? Cheetahs. Oh, yeah, cats do. Yeah. Do all cats have it? Yeah. yeah. Spiky penis? Yeah. Why is that? Is that why they scream? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's why you're like, yeah. ah! <laughs> that's, ex- that's, ex- <laughs> that's exactly the sound. Exactly the sound. <laughs> I always felt like I heard that one time outside of my bedroom window, and I was like, "I can't be attacked. I need to go help it." <laughs> Aren't you allergic? Oh, that's I'm allergic. <laughs> I'm sorry. Remember, when your cat yes. ran away, that's, that's what I was gonna apologize right now. I was like, "I'm sorry." He was out of town, and his cat yes. ran away, and like somebody called me and Adrian, and we went to go catch it. Uh-huh. And the way Adrian described it was, "I crocodile Dundee this cat." Yes. Because, like, I and you the... punted it into the house. <laughs> you punted, into the you house. punted a cat. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> punted cat. I, I think like, you did like a four. You've been watching too much <laughs> Zohan. The khaki, the cat sack. <laughs> Hacky cat. We play more khaki sack. Yes. No, the um, I would like walked up to the cat and I was like, here, here, and it's like it was like crawling up, and it finally got to my hand, and I just like bear hugged it, <laughs> and like ran into the house and went. <laughs> And then I looked all over my arms because I'm allergic to cats. They just started like all hiving up. And I was like, (laughs) 
Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it was my last breath. <laughs> my Fuck last you. breath. I curse your cat. <laughs> Charlie. Charlie. What if, like, Spider, or not Spider Man, uh, Superman didn't actually have a penis? It's it like, like a Ken doll. It's like, yes, yeah, like like Ken doll. Well, maybe it's, like, it's on his ass. No, know. but it was like um, in Futurama where they go to the mermaids. Oh, yeah. And they, oh. Fight, she's, and they get under the covers and he's like, I don't understand. How does this work? And she's I like, I leave my eggs and then you fertilize them. You fertilize them. What if that's how Superman species works? No, didn't they say, what's this? Oh, they kind of explained it like everybody's grown. Like that's yeah. the codex bullshit. But that was that movie. That wasn't that's like a, the, yeah. Well, that's what we're talking about. Still, like in the purpose of that movie, yeah, he could be like you can have he could not have in anything in yeah. there. They're all grown. Yeah, he was the only one born like through natural birth. Yes. Mm. Hence, he might have a penis. Maybe he just has a little nubbin because that's all that's left. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't use it, you lose it. That's why he doesn't. He he feels okay wearing spandex. It's like yeah, it's so <laughs> tight. Nothing, nothing like, there. Spider Man, what is that little bump on that like nubbin there? He's like. Oh, that's my wiener. They're like, oh, not my- wearing a cup? And he's like, no. And What's like, a wiener? <laughs> What's a wiener? I'm from space. <laughs> I'm, an, I'm an alien. Not illegal, though. Oh, he is illegal. He, he is illegal. <laughs> I love all the things that make fun of him for that. Yes. I'm going to build a wall around space. <laughs> and space will pay for it. <laughs> you and Kennedy on that one. I didn't know how to do a Trump accent. <laughs> I'm pretty damn close. I'm not going to lie. Space. Goddamn space. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Does that mean Martian Manhunter is also illegal? Yeah. He's illegal. a bounty hunter. How many like superheroes are illegal immigrants? Speedo goes out. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Slowpoke Rodriguez. I love his cousin Slowpoke. <laughs> My speedy. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody like I was explaining to them, and they looked at me all stupid and shit. Like, was it? You never heard of Slowpoke Rodriguez? It's like, no. I was like, nah, he's I ain't my cousin who <laughs> moves really <laughs> slow, <laughs> and he never dies. He somehow <laughs> emerges, he evades everything slowly, but he but surely. <laughs> what if he's like Slowpoke is is really like a kung fu master, and like he just dodges everything like like water. <laughs> I, I admire his resourcefulness and guitar strings. <laughs> Being a guitar player myself. <laughs> oh yeah, he did plug his whiskers. No, he, the no, cat's whiskers. Yeah, yeah, cat. cat. Oh yeah. <laughs> I would thought it would be more of a bass kind of, but I'm just. I want to see a guitar player do that. Like this string Let's break. Like, a fucking, cat. Like, there's a cat on stage. And... <laughs> <laughs> You'd need much longer cat hair. That's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can think of acoustic nylon strings. Anyways. You could be a ukulele. A grandpa's guitar. A grandpa's, grandpa's <laughs> guitar. Uh, oh, shit. No you shit. guys keep recording. What? They said keep recording. Clear no, we're just going to stop. The whole situation. And just by. acknowledge that he's not here. And he's doing something else. Kramer's doing things behind me, and I'm not comfortable. I heard a zipper. I think his pants came off. They might have. The oh, he found his oh, penis, guys. <laughs> oh, God. He found what he was looking for. Oh, car got door. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I can see the the warning now. It says low battery. Yes, we're about to fuck your shit. <laughs> Apple, uh, pear. We're good. <laughs> oh, man. Apple indeed. Uh, so Deadpool, good, good. Yeah, awesome. Good. It was entertaining yeah. for sure. It was yeah. entertaining. I like I like I get the whole like comic and everything. Like there there is a huge backing. Behind it, there's everybody that knows their shit. And there's it's like me as like not, yeah, I know enough to get by. So like, I found it entertaining. I got no beef against it or ham. Mm-hmm. Or whatever. I think it's the only way it's people kosher. would yeah, not yeah. like it is if they are just they just don't like action movies, comedy movies, or offended easily. Right. Offended easily, yeah, I can see that. If you're offended easily, yeah. And then I and the whole stink about the whole like oh drop it down to PG thirteen. Oh fuck that! Yeah, no, because I always I always crack up with, because of the cartoons. Because I know oh, was like, I know growing up with the cartoons, but even recently with the with the Amazing Spider Man, Deadpool's in it. So mm-hmm. you got kids trying to you know oh, what was it see and he has he kind of plays a similar character, but he's just kooky, kooky, not like crazy. I don't I wouldn't like kooky Deadpool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it has to be psychopath Deadpool. Psychopath like, Deadpool works. Kooky Deadpool does not work. Yeah. I know, like, and that's always, uh, always like kind of their uh, Spider Man's Deadpool's relationship because he just have like a playful banter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, was it? And they're like, I guess, like, not sidekicks. Like, yeah. it's not like that. It's like, oh, I can kick your ass. I can kick your ass too, but stuff like that. Yeah. I want to see 
now that they've done like a super badass movie, <laughs> make uh, Deadpool kills the Marvel universe. Just a standalone By movie with no connection to nothing else, and just make that comic, and it would be amazing. Where he ends up killing the the writer. Kills at the end. everyone. Yes, it's so good. Kill yeah, kills the Watcher, and the Watcher's like, "How are you here?" I'm like, huh? I would watch Cable. Cable. <laughs> oh, that'd be so that. good. How does he kill Wolverine in that? He chops. He no Wolverine. He has him with uh, the rest of the X Men, and I think he's. With people who heal fast, he has them strapped up to this machine that just constantly is, like, killing them, basically. It kills them, and then they start re- healing again, and it just kills them again, like fire or something. So that's how he takes care of them. And I can't remember if he chops his head off to do that. It's been a while since I've read it. Like, he just chops his head off and then holds it over a fire. And then so just the keeps constantly, burning. constantly yeah. Huh. Then they, but they did kill off a Wolverine, and that. But the like last I heard that when they did kill him off, his character, in general, that they gave him cancer, or he a disease like the from from the animantium that that's what ended up killing him, like a animantium poisoning. Oh, because his and okay, and you're talking about the most recent thing. Like, I believe so. Like when they yeah, did kind of reboot or something. Like his that. healing power is gone. Oh, okay. So the adamantium now is slowly killing him. Yeah, it's like freaking and, heavy metal poisoning. Yeah, <laughs> like lead. Yeah, for real. So it's killing him, and then at the end he dies, but not directly from that. Yeah. Without giving away like a spoiler. Well, but also if he doesn't have the healing factor, that's the only thing that doesn't kill him as he moves, and the like the the metal inside of his body is like cutting up his muscles and shit. Yeah, yeah, it's it's he's always healing himself, so he's still being poisoned, but it's yeah. not affecting him. That's why he's constantly like in pain, mm-hmm. and that's part of why he is the way he is. Yeah, oh, fair enough. he's always drinking cigar. Yeah, yeah. Cigar. But if he doesn't have the healing, he just like gets out of bed. He's like, oh, oh my body. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't wake up. <laughs> He would just be dead. He'd be wake up. Oh man, I'm dead again. <laughs> God damn it! So I would like to see that. I want to see like Professor X because he kills Professor X. Professor X goes into his mind and kills himself. Basically, he can't like take it. What? <laughs> like interdimension? Like was it? Like because he's, he's so crazy. He's so crazy because he has split personalities and all these different things. And did they touch? He tries to that? attack his mind and no. That's, no. Yeah. no, they didn't do the split. Yeah, they yeah, didn't. Do they the split they just did the whole like yes, the fourth wall, but. They're supposed to say that's his whole. That's his. his yeah, because in the comics they have like the different colored speech bubble, which is yeah. supposed mm-hmm. to be the different voices. Yeah, yeah. But they yeah. never. They didn't do that. Yeah, which that might have been. Would that have been too much in the movie? You think if they mm-hmm. tried it? I don't no. know. The way it was in there, maybe not. No. But since like it was a brief intro to him, maybe people wouldn't have got it that much. Well, maybe I, he gets crazier later on. Maybe. maybe. He could, do I it. can imagine as he's talking, he looks behind him, and there's another Deadpool that's talking back to him. Well, you can you can easily like pull that off with a mirror kind of like a, a mirror scene, like he can like Spider Man, yeah, uh, like he's talking scenes. to himself, and the mirror moves independently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like he's like talking to himself, but hey, here's the fourth wall, and six walls, and eighth. So and then one time, one time, one time, the mirror is to fall. Yeah, it's a, a tetrahedral. <laughs> <laughs> they did have him talking to himself a considerable amount, though. So but they never like, touched base. Why? Or anything yeah, they like never. That. They yeah. never introduced like a different personality. But yeah. he was mm-hmm. talking to himself quite mm-hmm. often. So they may spawn off of that. I was kind of hoping for that because I love the anything that involves like disassociated identity disorder, where it's like the different personalities talking back and forth, not just schizophrenic, like actual personalities mm-hmm. like talking back to you. <laughs> I love everything that involves that. That would have been cool to see. Yeah. I would also want to. I wanted to see more like Weapon X, but they it was kind of just a random the, underground the program. No, That's yeah. Weapon X would oh, say. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in that, but that wasn't Weapon X that made Deadpool. So not in the movie. No, no. But in, in it was the, something it, different. But he for, he derives from that. That's what I always thought. Deadpool came from like the from like where Wolverine would have come, came from. Yeah, because he I was know he's a, military. The only I guess uh, factor with Wolverine we don't know his real age. Supposedly, yeah, but it's always interesting. Did you see that the, would um, cool. where they're talking? Uh, it's Deadpool. He's talking to Wolverine or Cable, yeah. and they're talking about Wolverine. No, they're talking about Jesus. Go on. And Cable goes, uh, "Hold on, let me go check if he's real." And he goes back in time. <laughs> he, goes, <laughs> he goes back in time. And he's like, "Turns out Jesus is real," but he had kind of a really bad attitude. And he kept calling me Bub. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And they're like, "Jesus Christ, how old is Wolverine?" <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Wow. That, that's beautiful. That's cool. I laughed pretty hard at that. Way harder than I should have. <laughs> in the the new X-Men movie, I think they're going with the thing that Apocalypse is like the f- f- yes, form, yes, the yes. source of like every Everything. religion. Like the zeitgeist. Yeah. yeah. Like he was Jesus. He was 
the full Buddha horsemen and, of the apocalypse. Yeah, like, all that's like comes from him yeah. since that's he's been around. Going to be a fun media. <laughs> I don't think so. I I think what they're going to do is they're going to mention it like they did in the trailer very briefly, and then they're not going to go back to it. Other than the idea of that he's just going to be like he thinks himself of a god. Uh. Like the whole Da Vinci Code and everything. They said, oh, this is going to uproot religion and everything. "Eh, That wasn't a move. I guess they got a good actor, uh, Tom Hanks. You can't hate Tom Hanks. I can hate Tom Hanks. Hanks. You can or you can't? I can. I love Tom Hanks. No, I can't. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I'm a boy. I just I wanted to say, fight it, but I can't. You're a goddamn liar. Mm-mm. I saw Captain Phillips. I liked it. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> Lieutenant yeah. Dan. I am the captain now. <laughs> I am the captain. <laughs> captain. Look at me. Look I have me. AIDS. Look at me. <laughs> I am the captain now. <laughs> I still have yet to say anything. I just the only line from that movie I know. That's the same. No, but, but what was it for the trailers? That's what always threw me off. Like the uh, the suicide is kind of like jab at Deadpool. The real uh, was it? Um, they it kind of it was the 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 thing was uh, what it said like was it uh, the real bad guy movie? I guess it was in those uh. lines in that context. It pretty much to me it seemed like it was a jab at Deadpool. DC's jab at Deadpool was like, oh, this is what a real anti-hero movie should be. Well, mm. but the isn't Marvel going to be doing um, their version of Suicide Squad? Tell us. It was mm. Young Justice. No, I Justice. <laughs> no, that would be so. Justice League. No, that's DC. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Never right, mind. I, I don't think it's anything. Yeah. Guardians? No. Yeah, Guardians. <laughs> I thought Marvel had his aversion, but I mean, never mind. I'm just, well, wrong. I, I, I'm just You wrong. can kind of say Civil War will be its thing. No. Mm-mm. Because they're going against each other. No. Eh. 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 <laughs> but he's not ever supposed to be a villain. He's always That's what I said, like, anti-hero. Yeah. Well, but Suicide Squad isn't supposed to be like an anti-hero movie. It's more just like, we're a bunch of crazy people. Yeah. Which is part of why I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. That looks awesome. Yeah. Did anybody see the new Batman Superman trailer? The final one that came out? <laughs> no, I purposely did not watch it. Yeah, me too. I said the same thing and then I watched it. Like, <laughs> I saw it. Like, It came up on my phone and I was like, oh, final trailer? I'm not going to watch this. And then my, face my thumb clicked it. We're going to crack he was like, like, I, got I said I wanted to eat the candy, but then I ate the candy. <laughs> Pretty much. I was I, like, I, was like, I, I literally, like, it was in my hand. I saw it. I said no. And my thumb clicked it. And I was like, <laughs> well, I guess I'm watching it. <laughs> <laughs> it cannot be undone. It cannot be He's like, done. I'm not doing this. No, no. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> it was pretty cool. It was, it was a Batman trailer. That's how you become addicted to drugs, one. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm not doing this. Ben oh, I did. Like, is totally that, not is that how you gonna get? I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Ben Affleck I already did it. Gets you addicted to drugs. <laughs> He's a gateway film. <laughs> I don't know why, but I kind of like in my head related that to like that's how you are eventually gonna become gay. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, you're gonna be having sex, and you're like, it's just one finger. That's, fine. <laughs> that's a Kanye. You gotta remember, yeah. fingers in the booty ass. Fingers in the booty, <laughs> fingers in your booty ass. <laughs> Uh, uh, no, who brought that up? Suppose if it's not, if there's a thumb involved, it's, damn, I'm just gonna stop. What? <laughs> it's if not it's, gay if it's your four fingers, but if it's a thumb, no. <laughs> it's the thickest one. <laughs> wait, wait, either of the four fingers or all four fingers? I'll let you. That's a fist. <laughs> That's what I was going for. If a thumb is involved, it's fisting. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna stop there. I'm just gonna stop there. You're allowed to count to four. You can't count to five though. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, all these tangents. Yeah, that tangent. That's how we do it, though. <laughs> Very rarely do we stay on track with what we're talking about. Yeah, it is what it is. And it always goes to fisting. <laughs> There's almost always some kind of fisting. <laughs> Talk about anal retentive. I'm just no. Anal retention. There you go. Or untension. <laughs> untention. <laughs> <laughs> just anal tension. Oh man. So Deadpool. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Yeah, can't Solid wait for eight. part two. Solid eight. Eight. Eh, I want to give it a nine. <laughs> you looking at it was like I'm like, just looking, was, I'm the waiting. ten out of ten. I, like I wouldn't give it the ten out of ten, but then again, like it's, it is entertaining. But there's like I guess because I knew uh, a somewhat of background. I'm not gonna say I know everything about it, but I knew there's like some unanswered questions. The whole the mm. whole schizophrenic thing. The whole like was it. And then my 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 thing too is like I love that the, he touched base on it was uh, there's out of being a huge mansion there's only two mutants yes oh man I it's love like the that studio fact. couldn't afford it anymore yes. that I in, love that fact that in the when he's like we're taking you to see the professor and he's like McAvoy or um, 
Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> the timelines are so confusing. <laughs> that was my favorite joke. Oh, that is pretty oh. good. Yeah. Did all the jokes like hit yeah. with y'all? Every single Most one? I think some of them like missed. Because I, I had didn't a, get the Stuart or Michael yeah, Boy at first. Oh, like, you said it now. I was like, that makes it, perfect sense. That was my favorite one. The only ones that didn't hit were the ones I saw in the trailer. Mm-hmm. That they've been showing forever. Mm-hmm. Like the, the, the one where he's first. talking about like why he's wearing a red suit. Yeah, I was like, yeah, it's not. I've seen that like thirty times. Uh, that one's not funny anymore. But everything else was good. The Liam Neeson joke got me. Yes. Oh yeah, yes. that was my favorite one. <laughs> what was yes. this? Well, how the taken. He, he yeah. touched, yeah. And he was like, yeah. At one point, he's, you got to think he's a bad father <laughs> <laughs> after all these movies. <laughs> That's the Home Alone <laughs> argument. <laughs> yes, I dreamed that I I kidnapped his daughter and he just wasn't having it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, you know what we didn't talk about? Uh, Weasel, his friend. Oh. T.J. Miller, oh, yeah. oh, I yeah. liked him a lot. Yeah, he I was did. good. T.J. Miller is always funny. He's that really was a perfect funny. Casting job. Yeah, yeah, I like, I like when he's like, "I'd go with you, but I don't want <laughs> <I don't laughs> to." There's a T.J. Miller movie with uh, with Jason something. Then they're in their airport. I'm just yep. can't, I can never put the. Uh, uh, we saw that with Thomas. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what was that? Uh, uh, we're raw dogging some She's randoms. Out of your yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's, out of your <laughs> She's out of your league. Ah, that's yeah. what, that's, that's where the phrase raw, d- raw dogging some randoms comes yeah. from. Yeah. That's where Jay is from. Yeah, Jay, Jay played the lead in that one. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> where it was um, he was his name was Steamer. Steamer. Have you guys seen Stinker? him in Silicon Valley? Something like that. I've seen. I've seen a little bit of. He's really good. He's funny too. Funny in that one. I like that one. Is there a Satanist in that one? Kumail's in there, too. A Satanist? Or what's his, his whole thing? It made me laugh. Like, his character oh. in, a, in a, whatchamacallit, in Silicon Valley. I don't know. A Silicon Valley. I need to watch that more. I've seen a couple episodes, and they funny. were funny. Yes. I haven't watched it, like, too in-depth, but that's, like, the first time where his face, like, stuck mm-hmm. in my head. Because mm-hmm. I think any other role he's had, it never really, like, it wasn't, like, a repetitive click. Mm-hmm. But, like, now, when I watch that show, if I see him other places, now I know who he is. Yeah. Which I have that with a lot of actors where like I'll I'll watch several movies and there'll there'll be an actor in it and I'll see them fifty times but never recognize them. Mm-hmm. But as soon as like something comes out and they're like more iconic in it. Like and Jonah like, Hill oh, and then yeah, recognize yeah. them in all the other movies. Like Jonah Hill's random cameos and tons of stuff up until uh old Superbad. Super bad. Yeah. 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 Or um Jason Derulo. Momoa. No. Oh. We all Seth? Did, we all <laughs> Jason. Seth Rogan. No. Oh. Seth Rogan? Yeah, know. Seth Rogen. I don't know why I thought you were talking about Joe Rogan. <laughs> yeah, Seth Rogen. Like, I never realized he was in... Um, That's Mad, a time machine. Mad World. Mad World. Not Mad World. The song Mad World is in the movie. Donnie Darko. Donnie Darko. Yeah, he's in Donnie Darko. Woo! Yeah, he's in Donnie Darko. Hey, yes. Hold on, and I've seen that movie several times. Who and until I watched, movie? like, uh, was it Knocked Up? And then I watched Donnie Darko again. I was like, is that fucking him? <laughs> really? Yeah. I, I can't. Uh, he has that laugh that I would. Uh, <laughs> I don't think or, he actually does it in that movie. That's what I'm saying. He doesn't do anything <laughs> yeah. Seth Rogen ish. That's because that's before he he defined his character. Uh, yeah. A stoner. A stoner. No, before he, the drugs. No, but he was he was kind of that character in Freaks and Geeks. Kind of. Was Freaks and Geeks before Donnie Darko or after Donnie so. Darko? Darko? Ooh, I don't know. Might have been around the same time. Because Donnie Darko was like ninety, no, two thousand something. When was, was Freaks and Geeks? No, it was in 2000. I thought was, Jill, Jake Gyllenhaal was it like 99? Yeah, it was like 98, 99 probably. Okay. But Freaks and Geeks was early 90s, so I think Freaks okay, and Geeks then, yeah. Yeah, earlier. Yeah. Uh, okay. Timelines. But Time still, lines. nobody from that show, that show only lasted a season. Nobody cared about that show. Did they bring That's it back, true. though? There's so many good people in that show, though. Yeah, that show had a, a Jason Siegel was in there, too. Jason right? Siegel James Franco. Where he says, uh... Freaks and Geeks was 99 to 2000. Ah, there we okay. go. Okay, then so Donnie Darko might have been before Freaks and Geeks. That might explain it then. Because, like, there's so many people in Freaks and Geeks, like, and, like, there's so many good lines in that, like, show. Like, it starts off with uh, Jason Siegel saying, I've seen God, and he plays drums for Led Zeppelin. And he's talking about John Bonham. Oh, I, oh that's another story. I was like, I love John Bonham. I was going to start talking about it. <laughs> Donnie Darko, 2001. Ah, so, there right we go. after. Oh, wow. Yeah, I thought Donnie Darko was like mid '90s. It seems longer, right? Yeah, but then you think about it. That was a long what? time ago. <laughs> I'm kind of glad. 15 early years ago, because that doesn't make me feel as old. Because when you were like, uh, well, if, you, if so we were to say like '92, I was like, "Fuck, how old am I?" No, I thought it was like '94, '95. <laughs> mm. uh, that that still would have made me feel really old. Yeah, I'm oh, glad boy, it's in yeah. the 2000s. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, yeah. Uh, did we also talk about the blind lady? And her Why IKEA shelf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> their their <laughs> arguments about which IKEA stuff to get. Yeah, yeah. The and they verbatim they knew the names and everything. Yes. As a you former IKEA employee, I loved it, <laughs> <laughs> and I knew all of them. <laughs> 
Do you know where the shows were? Like, where, where, where at Iowa they were? More or less, since I've been there recently. They changed a little, but I've managed to find my way. Nice. It's For those who don't listen to the, or don't know us, but listen to the podcast, I think half of our friends have worked at Ikea at some point. Yeah. It was like, John's worked there, Alfredo's worked there, you've worked there, Amy's worked there. Yes. Daisy's you met worked Daisy there. there. Daisy worked there. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. Ikea. It brings what? people together. It brings people <laughs> together with the hex wrench. <laughs> Maybe a screwdriver. Well, it's the instructions it's called for. It's groups of friends. Yeah. <laughs> well, they, they, have you ever seen that one? Um, there was a one image back uh, that was floating around a while. It's a uh, had the low IKEA guy mm-hmm. and had every how how to build every movie thing. Like was it one was the time the DeLorean. From, and it's step by step how to build a DeLorean. Like one of them is like acquire plutonium, and then, <laughs> it, but it's in exactly the font, exactly the styling, the, the art style of the IKEA. Uh, what you call it? The f- manual. Oh, I think I have so, awesome. And then uh, T Re- like the Jurassic Park mm-hmm. and everything. I think I have it saved, but that one just tickled my fancy. So it was, it's hilarious. <laughs> like the little dude, it's like that giant nose dude. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. I have this really bad habit with building furniture or anything in general. Because I think it was in ninth grade where they were like uh, interviewing all the people when they, we first started in high school, and they asked like a series of questions, and you'd have to raise your hand or not raise your hand. And one of the questions Did you was, "Why'd you raise both hands?" Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! Do you want to get shot? No, sir! No, sir! Hands up! Hands up! One of the questions was, "Who reads the instructions before building something?" And a lot of people raised their hands, and then they asked, "Who doesn't?" And I raised my hand, and they're like, "Okay, one person." And I looked around. I was like, you lying son of a bitch. <laughs> but then when I started buying shit at Ikea or furniture in general, like, like the, the stuff that you get from like Target yeah, that you yeah. got to put together, I still went with that attitude. I was like, I can do this on my own. No. no. And like two hours no. later, I was like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. No, tell me why I was building a shelf. Like was it even for my bedroom? Kind of like some of the black one and everything. It was, it was a dresser. It was a dresser. Mm-hmm. Uh, I spent a good 30 minutes. I cleared out everything. I'm putting everything together. It turns out I was like, I had it. Backwards, like the, the top <laughs> shelf. I was like, and I'm thinking in my head, I fucking read the goddamn instruction. This is bullshit. And then I was like, I was like, ah, oh, god damn it. Went outside, kicked the dog. No, I <laughs> you hacked no. your cat. <laughs> no, I just, <laughs> no, I just came. I had to pull it back up. And just, luckily, the thing that sucks about those is those locking, uh, those locking little, oh, those, those yeah. round ones. You put them in and yeah. then you turn them halfway and they yeah. lock. No. And then they can easily no, 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 fuck no, no, no. up. Yeah. Yeah. They easily fuck yeah. up. You either fuck up those or the little wooden peg. That the wooden into. pegs. So like, those <laughs> things are very strong, but I had a problem with uh, a desk recently mm-hmm. where I don't actually think it was Ikea. I think I got it from Target where I put it together, but it has that where you put it in and you, you lock yeah. it to the mm-hmm. side and it bolts in place. And then I needed to move my bed. And I kind of moved it like this, this, and it went against the, the side of the bed, and the side of the desk goes, <laughs> yes. and then that little piece is just sticking out like yeah. from the bottom, and it just tore through like the, uh, the wood. The particle board. The particle board, <laughs> yeah. It's just sticking out of there. Which is sawdust and like Elmer's glue. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it really is. It's paper mache wood. Yes. Yep. That's pretty yeah. much it. And God bless you if you get that shit wet. It was like, no. <laughs> I was thinking before I remember that they were particle board desks and we put our printing press into it. Oh, the and I, did I, were you there, Kramer, or did I tell you mm-hmm. that I drilled it into it and I was like, nice, nice and sturdy? And then I put like weight on it and it ripped it off of the desk. I was like, no, <laughs> my desk. And it's a chunk. It, was a <laughs> chunk. it wasn't this one. I know you're looking behind me. I was about to say, do we still have a printing press? This is, it's in the closet. Uh, okay. <laughs> but I was like, no, my desk. And then my mom built a table for us. Which was the sturdiest fucking <laughs> table. Yes. Still, in, one, still in my mom's furniture. garage. <laughs> Oak. It's, no, it's Lebanese furniture because it has to like withstand being bombed every five years. <laughs> Factor of safety. Up uh, uh, no, it's in the Cypress. Or huh? the, Cypress? The tree on the Lebanese flag? Uh, like, cedar. Cedar. I know yes. something with a C. Anybody who ever says it's a fucking Christmas tree, I want to slap them. It looked like a pine tree. But then I get thought about it. It's like, well, they're not Jewish. <laughs> so they can celebrate Christmas. So they just like, don't. <laughs> because they're not Jewish. It's like, they can celebrate Christmas. I don't that's see why, why it's on the tree. Yeah, that's why it's there. Yeah, yeah. yeah Christmas tree. I'd We've do. deviated quite a bit from Deadpool. Now. <laughs> nah. yeah. Okay, uh, back to Deadpool. Oh, we I don't think again. Blind Anybody, lady, fourth wall. Any other Easter eggs? Funny things you liked? Funny jokes? I like that they connected the movies, but they did it as a joke. 
What movies? Like Which the ones? other, everything else in the Marvel Universe, like he, they would hint towards it, but it was more as a joke towards the Marvel Universe. Universe. Force. Force. I think they only really hinted at like But they didn't X-Men. mention Fox. Didn't they say Fox? They, the, the production studio, they yeah. said Fox. Well, or they would talk about like, um, uh. I patch. Oh, oh, I know you're talking Samuel about Samuel Jackson. Jackson uh, Nick Fury. Oh. Nick, Nick Fury. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like he, 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 he like referenced him, but it's always as a joke. Yeah. It's never like seriously like connecting them in the universe. It's always yeah. Deadpool saying it, so it's just breaking the fourth wall. So you don't know what's an Easter egg. You no. don't know what's connecting the movies. You just it might be a fourth wall break. It might not be. Nah. True that. Or he's just talking to himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wrap yeah. this one up. Yeah. yeah, I got nothing else. Overall, awesome. Good movie. Yeah, good. need to see it again. Yeah. Till next time. Huh? Why is hmm? there other movie you saw that might? Oh, oh, Zoolander two. That's what. Oh. It was. Just give us a quick review since no one else saw it. It was pretty terrible. And that's the show. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you? Roger. Join us next wait, time wait, wait. as we're disappointed by more movies. No, we, I need a new segment for this podcast called Tom's Five Second Review of any movie you watch because you watch a lot of movies, yes. random yeah. movies. And you can, and he's gonna just be like, good, bad, sucked, awesome. Did you like Hateful Eight? Five seconds. Mm. Meh. And that's the show again. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Tom's five to second review. I want to punch him now, though. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Kramer's five second of anger. Go. Fuck you, Tom. <laughs> I love Hateful Eight. <laughs> that's it. You're, that's all you get. Is You're, my Hateful Eight seconds? No. <laughs> Camera there you go. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> hateful eight seconds. Hateful and it's designed seconds. only to express anger for me. Yes. Yes. Kramer's rebuttal. Out of, out of all my friends, me and him disagree on movies so often. You walk out of movies before Because they're even... terrible. I would never Which walk out on a movie. Out of? I've walked out of... The last like of... five he's watched. He walked out of... Yeah. What's that one recently you're telling us? Uh, The Krampus... Okay, you're just watching bullshit movies. Then. Like, Kramp- Krampus looked Krampus was terrible. Terrible. It I looked out of, bad. I walked out of Pixels. Pixels was Fuck amazing. you, I did like Pixels. <laughs> yeah, I, like Pixels. <laughs> I like Pixels. I like Pixels. When it began, like, all the jokes, it was I was a like, beautiful I kept groaning movie. at all the jokes. I don't enjoy any of them. <laughs> hater. <laughs> hater indeed. I just didn't straight see Straight sipping a hater in. Okay, now they walk out. Like, seriously, you pay and you walk yeah. out? Yeah. They're like 20 bucks. Just yeah. sit well, there. Most of the time, it's not, I'm not going by myself. I'm going with my girlfriend. Yeah, you forced them to sit there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You paid for her <laughs> ticket too. Exactly. <laughs> That's what it was like. Me and her were talking and we did agree. We we're like, we're not walking out of any more movies. And she was like, I only <laughs> walk out of Because you're broke now. <laughs> <laughs> what was the limit? Like, Do you throw away the popcorn too in your drink? <laughs> that three well, movies, well, five minutes? We only get to see each other like once a week. Okay. And so we were like... Um, if we're spending like only once a week with each, with each other, yeah, and we see we start watching a movie and we're just like hating it, yeah, like I know then, some of them are two hours. Hateful Eight was three fucking hours, yeah. <laughs> so that's okay. But we both really enjoyed Hateful Eight because we're both big uh, Tarantino fans. It must have been the intermission. Did y'all get an intermission for Hateful Eight? It, everybody who's got the intermission liked it. I didn't get a goddamn intermission. I didn't watch. I it. was pissed. Yep. I need to fucking pee. <laughs> yeah, I was like, no, we, we had that ten minute break. We got to like sit back, we got stretch, we got to talk about like how the movie was going so far, and yeah. then it started again, and it was very refreshing. Maybe that would have helped me out. Maybe I think it was just opening weekend they did that. Yeah, really? wow. yeah. Wow. I got bored. Honestly, yeah, I feel you there. Like it's like, just like okay. I was kind of happy that uh, Channing Tatum came out then. and got shy. <laughs> Don't ruin anything oh. else. I haven't seen it. Oh, there you go. Thanks. I knew he was have in it. Have you seen it. Pixels? No, I don't watch things that don't look good. <laughs> I take that back. I just watched a Bjork movie <laughs> yesterday. A Bjork movie? Wait, it's there was a Bjork one? It's called Dancer in the Dark. Uh, I wouldn't mind watching it. It had a great ending. They killed her by hanging. Fair enough. <laughs> Suddenly. <laughs> I didn't see it. Biting it was leaves. awesome. She like, goes into this song, and she, like they have a noose around it's her neck. It's a musical? It's, like, it's a musical, kind of, yeah. but they play it off as she has... like. Dreams, and that's how she's fantasizing. Is it a rock opera? No, because it's Bjork. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like sounds. It's super. So it's super serious at the end. I'm gonna tell you the last like five minutes. It's super serious. They have her cover on her face, a noose around her neck, security guards. She's freaking out. They take the thing off her face, mm-hmm. and then she's kind of like calm, and she's like starts singing, and she's singing this stupid Bjork song, and it's crazy and weird and Icelandic. 
Do you like Bjork? And, 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 do you like Bjork? I do not like Bjork. Oh, then, no. and then, so Why she's, the fuck did you watch the yes, movie? Because it was interesting. <laughs> and I just, no. Okay, so she's singing, yeah. and the camera's being very artsy, yeah. and they pan to the security guards, and they're like, what the fuck is going on, man? And then literally out of nowhere is a close-up on Bjork's face, and she's like, and, uh, and then they let the bottom go, and she just drops nice. and snaps her neck. Nice. <laughs> And, I actually want to see this. And I saw like, that. I was like, oh, too. shit. It was all worth it. <laughs> got finally got rid of that crazy bitch. You hear the snap. She's laying there. The si- there's silence. Yes. The people are watching it. They just close the curtain, and the movie ends. Huh. I bravoed. I stood up. I clapped. <laughs> nice. Standing ovation. Where were you? I was at my mom's house. <laughs> really quick, what's your favorite musical? Grease. <laughs> no, that's like, I, I can't Jesus even think Christ. of a superstar. Yeah, yeah. You, you can mean, include rock Joseph in the Technicolor Dream Coat. You can include rock, <laughs> yeah, rock <laughs> operas <laughs> or like goth to, operas. I would like to say hairspray. hairspray. Hey, that was pretty funny. Christopher Walken. There's Christopher Walken. And, and uh, oh. a creepy dude. Vincent Vega. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's confused. Chris hairspray was pretty good. As a girl. I say hairspray. That's the one that, uh, that sticks out in my head. Uh, like I did like Grease, but... Then I, I did like Grease too randomly. Grease the motorcycle. Yeah, so, so. I liked it because it was shitty. <laughs> exactly. You knew it was like it was like this isn't the first Grease. <laughs> this is not good, but I like it. It's got a motorcycle. Yes. Tom, favorite musicals? Goth opera, rock opera? Lion King. Uh, <laughs> do Disney movies count? Disney's no. movies count. Oh, That's not, they're, they're not musicals. They, they are musicals. musicals. They have music musicals. in them. They There's a lot mu- of music in they them. Have musical numbers in them. Yes. So it's, it's a musical. musical. Okay, is all Bollywood now. movies musical numbers? Yes. Yes, but I'm not picking any of those. <laughs> uh, no, <that's> they all <laughs> look the same. I can guarantee Disney you movies, that. I would make them their own category, just that's, like Bollywood movies are. They're musicals because, like, well, but Bollywood movies are their own category. You don't mix them with musicals. Mm-hmm. I would call them a musical. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Oh, man. Then in that case, Nightmare Before Christmas. That's what you're counting. Well, that, that okay. Counts. Yeah, that counts. Yeah, okay. that good. If we have to include Disney movies, then mine don't count anymore. But if we're not including Disney movies... Repo. Rock of Ages. That was one of them. That's my favorite was, goth opera. That's why when but you said goth opera, favorite, I thought you were going to say it. Well, okay, 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 okay. My favorite musical. Have you ever seen that one? Repo Man, the one with the uh, Forrest Whitaker? And yeah, the Repo Man is based off of... Uh, Repo? Repo. Really? Yeah, but the oh. first one is a goth opera with where uh, Paris Hilton's face melts off. And Forrest Whitaker sings. It's fucking great. No, he it's doesn't. fucking amazing. It's like Nightmare it's lazy Bra- It's like if Nightmare Before Christmas was like a pill of eggs <laughs> that you gave to a bunch of like industrial kids. <laughs> and then they I made like a movie. Going. <laughs> Repo. Yes. Repo. Okay, okay. Well, so, so they so, shit nuts and bolts and everything. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. What was yeah, what was your thing? I thought it would be Repo. Fiddler on the roof. I'm glad some, nobody Fuck said Sweeney. <laughs> I'm glad nobody right, said no, Sweeney Todd or anything. No, I have that on VHS. <laughs> All right. The so William VHS, Shatner in it? Yeah, huh? VCR. William Shatner in it? No. Oh, okay. William Shatner. I'm just thinking of the family guy. Oh, no. I didn't know if that was actually a true thing that they kind of no, made. No, that movie. I always wondered if he was a fiddler in the roof. Because at one point he stops and he goes, God! <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad this make more sense like, now. I, I thought a, it was just random and funny. I was like, there's a... There. There's knowledge. There's things to connect. Them. God damn it! Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, all right. I got nothing else. Me neither. I'm Kramer. I'm Tom. Sometimes I'm Juan. I'm Isa. That's it. We don't really have a closing line. Ah. No. And our special guest, yes, our audience, audience producer, member. because she's been looking up all the facts, being extremely quiet over here, and the quiet. holding the Pac Man ghost. That is her name. No, Pac-Man I'm Krista. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. Bye. May the force be with you. And always with you. Bye. Finger to eyebrow.